Peter Dodds gets the game going. Right up to Berbizier. Back there to Frank Menel, the standoff half, this powerful standoff. Hasn't found touch. Peter Dodds back in his own 22. And there's a very good safe return. A good number of kilted warriors in this big attendance here, so Scotland won't lack support. And away goes Geoffrey, on to Calder. Picked up by Cronin. Ball went forward, Francis put in. Very important area of the match here. The French pack are, are a good bit heavier, five or six pounds a man. And of course they've been using a new kind of style of packing called Bahadita. A penalty to Scotland right away. I think for taking down the scrummage on the far side it may have been Jean-Pierre Garouet. And Peter Dodds from halfway decides to kick the goal. In fact, where Peter Dodds has made his mark, oh, you can see it better now. You see the pitch has churned up a bit. They had a day long of rain on Thursday. Now, here's a bit of bad man at whistling and going, which uh, really we don't want to see at a rugby union match, but Peter Dodds has played here before, so he knows what it's all about. From halfway then, Peter Dodds. It's high, it's long, but not long enough. Berbizier, and here the French out to Sella, Blanco, Andrea, Lagisque, the charge down by Cronin. Taken by Dantron. He's caught by Finlay Calder. Barbizier. Menel goes. Lovely tackle by the youngster. What a super tackle by Craig Chalmers. But the French, as always, moving it away. The Scots have it now. On the French 10 metres line. Now it's Armstrong. Chalmers. A high Gary Owen. Not quite far enough forward, but it's still quite awkward for the Frenchman. Barbizier couldn't hold it. Out from Lagisque to Blanco. A pity there because Chalmers had an excellent chance to put Blanco under pressure and uh, sadly his kick was misdirected and Blanco's cleared the lines for France. At the back there for France number six is Eric Chon. And it's Chon who goes down. The pick up and feed by Berbizier. Menel, Menel, the Gary Owen. In comes Peter Dodds, left it to the forwards. Across comes Ivan Tukolo. Tukolo out here to Lenin. Lenin checks. Lenin half caught by Andrea, but misses him. A great run by Lin. By Scott Hastings going on. That was Scott Hastings who made the burst on halfway. Great play by Scott Hastings. It was just unfortunate that Gary Armstrong's getting treatment on the other side of the field. And I don't think the Scottish players have seen him. Down goes Jeffrey. Uh, Milne was in front, but uh, the referee deciding, I think, that he wasn't obstructing a Frenchman from getting the ball, and so it's a scrummage instead of a penalty. This is an important scrum here. Scotland have got a hold out here. French backs of Lajiski in as an extra centre, and it's a good, good, solid scrummage for them. Menel, here they go. Andrea, Menel half through, caught by Chalmers, onto Blanco. Blanco be beautifully tackled there by Dodds, still carried on, Song goes on, five metres short, a great French attack this, beautifully out there from Perrault, at least he meant to put it out but couldn't get it clear, now it's swept the other way, Berbizier diving over, and the Scots desperate to hold the ball off the ground, and it'll be a scrum five to the Frenchman, here it all is. You notice a super tackle there, and then more danger as the ball was well posted. Menel with the pass, and then caught by Calder, and it was as close and as dangerous as that. Scotland have taken one against the head. Armstrong to Chalmers, out to Tukolo, and what a success for Ken Milne. No touch. Blanco, a huge kick across field, there's a chance here for the Scots, it didn't go forward, Peter Dodds couldn't hold it, but what an opportunity for the Scots if he'd been able to take it first time, a real handling chance there Jamie. 
It really was. What a pity because he's dropped nothing all season, Peter Dodds. And they had a great counter-attacking opportunity having cleared their lines. And Kenny Milne, all Scotland, will thank him for that, I think. Milne throws long. Carmanati jumps. Penalty for a bit of uh, pushing in. Rodriguez may have been the culprit. And Berbizier there is uh, waving his team back, making sure they don't get into trouble. Here's the long throw to the tail. You'd notice a beauty. Uh, John Jeffrey's obviously been hurt in that uh, little stramash, but it's a penalty to the Scots. One scored 17 points against France in Scotland's Grand Slam of 84. Dodds then, is it sneaking in? It is. The first points of the match to Peter Dodds and to Scotland. Three points to nil. And he stroked that one well, as calm as you like. Rodriguez, Derbizier, Blanco, Blanco, half tackled by Dodge, the feed on to Carmanati, Carmanati to Rodriguez, Rodriguez, tackled just short, Finley Calder trying to work it, Berbizier, Blanco, Blanco held out by David Soule and by Craig Chalmers, they're right on the Scottish post there, and again the mall goes down and the Scots will have to fight another rear guard action from here, but it is magnificent defence by the Scots. They've been hit on right and left. This was how close they came. The French breakaway forward in and it after Rodriguez. And if they'd won that ball, well... But here's the scrummage under the Scottish bar. Rodriguez, Berbizier has through. A superb try by the French captain. I suppose it had to come. His seventh try for France. They're in the lead by four points to three. Royal appreciation of a brilliant try. Just watch it here. Quick ball from Rodriguez. And John Jeffries a little bit slow coming off the back of the scrum. And Dodge stays out. And there's the gap for Bibizier. Clean through. And Philippe Perrault with what looks like a fairly straightforward conversion attempt. Yes, nice little chip kick. And so... The French have got the leaders. We come come up near half time. So we see it again. Babissier going all the way through, and unfortunately, Dodge just hung out for the man outside, which was a fair thing to do. And coming into half time with, I think, a deserved lead by six points to three. So her Royal Highness Princess Anne, as I say, at her third match this season. Owen Doyle blows for the start of the second half. And Menel thumps a long one right up to his opposite number, Craig Chalmers. Chalmers, good and safe. David Cho once again being played as a scrum half. There he is, number one. You'll notice Dan Trong is the man there. Carmanati got hands to that one. Berbizier goes. Out to Menel. Menel, half tackled. Maybe a bit high by Lenin. The pick up by Sol. Now it's Armstrong. Armstrong broke out of uh, Andrios' tackle. Sella pointing frantically to the far side because uh, the French were a little bit short of bodies on the far side. Scotland had a 3-1, to one, but of course, Scotland badly needed the ball in that situation. And once again, it was that powerful man from Dax, Laurent Rodriguez, the former fine firefighter from Montferrand. And there, Philippe Dantron. Monsieur Passion, as they call him. He's 49th international today. He's second in the world to Colin Deans, the Scottish hooker. 49 to 52 caps. Rodriguez, Derbizier. Very awkward. Blanco is up there. Blanco has scored. A superb try by the fullback. Try number 27 for Blanco. It's 23rd as a fullback. And that really will give the Frenchman. Tremendous confidence. Ten points to three, they lead. Quick ball again from the scrum. Rodriguez to Babizier, who does the chip. He's seen that Dodds has come into the line to counter Blanco getting the ball. And it's a very, very lucky bounce. Straight into his hands. Just be unlucky for Scotland. But now, 10-3 down. Erbani, Carmenati. 
Armory took it in initially. Carmenati being thrown out by White. Alain Carmenati, of course. Uh, number seven is a tough guy. John Jeffrey there. Sometimes you get the feeling that uh, maybe he's not just 100%. Armstrong hounded by Berbizier, and once again, a scrimmage ball that is in trouble. Armstrong may have been penalised for uh, killing the ball on the floor. Here we go, he gets caught in possession by Berbizier. He doesn't actually have the ball under control, and Berbizier falls on him. But he's, he can't get away from the ball there. It's, it's impossible to do so with players on top of you. And you can see Owen Dawes give the penalty. Vero then, this would lift his 150 in internationals. Flags are up. The crowd roars, the drums beat, the bands play, and France must feel pretty safe. 13 points to three. They played eight minutes of the second half, and Béreau kept his head still here. It was a nice follow-through, and it was a goal all the way. We have 10 metres outside the Scottish 22, but uh, Berbizier has put the ball into his own feet. Surprise, surprise. And the Scots going through Calder to Jeffrey. Jeffrey almost through, up to halfway. Good ball from Calder, out to Armstrong. Armstrong caught by Manel. Great bit of work by Manel. He not only tackled, but he robbed the ball as it spun out. And France have won another lovely ball, Berbizier. Dodge calls. Indecision in the Scottish camp. Chalmers and Dodge, the feed on to Dantron from Ber from uh, Perrault. Now it's Berbizier. Menel, a chance here. Andrea, Blanco, Lajisquet. Lajisquet, a huge high left footer. May have gone too far. Derek White back there. And what a chance that was again for the Frenchman. Good drop out, up went Jeffrey, taken by Condon. And once again, Condon in a, in a weakish position, although France have managed to win it. Menel, another towering up and under. Up went Sella, Sella over the 22, a real chance here. Andrea out there to Lajiske, the crucial try for the Frenchman. A brilliant bit of work by them, and that surely ties up the game for them. Lajiske's 15th try in major internationals and it was beautifully created there was an overlap right from the start from this huge Gary Owen Sella of course is so phenomenally strong he timed his jump so well look at that broke the tackle and then from here well it was a question of holding the passes Andrea took it on he went far enough and Lajiske had the pace to get there a very good try And Bero with his 150 points nicely tucked away, going for two more. And getting them. Three successful kicks by Bero. Look at Stella there, he takes the ball superbly, and it's unfortunate for Peter Dodge, and he misses the tackle, and then he gets the ball away to Andrea, and then it's all over. Um, it wasn't a soft try, but it's, it, it's annoying trying to give away, because he should have had that ball secured and be able to clear it. Cronin, Armstrong, Calder, Chalmers, Lenin, Scott Hastings running into his own man, Robertson, Robertson very high and too far, as I say the in goal area is very short, the referee blows his whistle for the end of the match, and France have won with three splendid tries, 19 points to three they've won. We've always